talking to senior <laughs> advocate Mr. Fali Nariman. Fali is that uh, adult franchise not only gives us the government we deserve, but also the justice we deserve. Now, this I have quoted uh, from page 416 of your book. Would you kindly elaborate? Yes, yes. Uh, there is one which goes next to which it says that uh, only ministers are answerable to parliament and yes. not secretaries. Uh, your Quite right. Supplemental yes. question. Yes. <coughs> yeah. You see, this part of a speech was given by me in the Rajya Sabha on this, what was known as the Central Vigilance Commission Bill 2003. And you must know the context in which I said this. <coughs> the background is this. The Central Vigilance Commission Act came up for consideration as a bill before us in August 2003 after it was passed by the Lok Sabha. It was meant to stem the rot of corruption in public life <coughs> by government officials. <coughs> the Act had set up a three-member Central Vigilance Commission with guaranteed tenure. <coughs> Appointed on the recommendation of a high-level committee, it was expected to function independently of the central government. But, and this is important, <coughs> hidden in the verbiage of the bill was a provision tucked away in one of the subsections in what is now com com commonly known as the single directive. Under its provision, any whisper or suspicion of corruption of employees of the Union of India at the level of Joint Secretary and below could be inquired into and investigated by the Central Bureau yeah. of Investigation, over whom the statutorily appointed CVC was to exercise a hawk-like superintendence. But, and this but is important, all officials of the Union of India at the level of Joint Secretary and downwards were immune, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, the, all the, upwards were the, immune yes. from any inquiry and investigation into any offence alleged to have been committed by them, except, that's what the statute said, with the previous approval of the central government. Now, I thought that this was most inconsistent and therefore, I suggested to the minister that instead of saying except with the previous approval of the central government, why don't you say except with the <coughs> previous approval of the CVC, the Central Vigilance Commission, yes. because it was, it was very yes. important. But somehow the minister wouldn't accept it. Now, my point was that if you can trust the independently appointed Central Vigilance Commission not to needlessly harass a director of a department or an undersecretary with threats of prosecution, why can you not trust the same commission in respect of the conduct of a secretary, additional secretary, joint secretary? In fact, why otherwise have a Central Vigilance Commission at all? Yes. Quite right. Uh, is uh, it to yes. catch the small fish? Small that fish. That was my point. Yes. Another point uh, you may wish to explain. Uh, you have said that even uh, a whisper or an indication, yes. a suggestion of corruption. Yes. So, I am referring to the degree of proof yes. that here a machinery would be set in motion yes. at a mere allegation. Yes. And where in the other case, those above joint secretary, yes. the sanction, previous sanction of the central, central government, government is needed. And therefore, the central yes. government will yes. be like the patriot yes. protesters. He would put protect Quite their right, own sir. flock, yes. which was, was very unfair. Yes. <coughs> very yeah. unfair. And perhaps it may also be unconstitutional. Yes, correct, yes, correct. Sir, yes. But besides, as everyone conversant with the working of government departments knows, decisions are recommended as you know on the file, yes. tentatively, by each person upwards. Yes. If right from the small officer concerned yes. on special duty, Desk and, officer or OSD. And officer yes. OSD and so on, and goes yes. up yes. right up to yes. the minister. Yes. And the responsibility is of the minister, minister. to parliament. None yes. of the secretaries are responsible 
for what they yes. write. But the minister is, and that that's yes. the important part of our of the this, which doesn't that, make sense. This West Minister yes. style of yes. functioning that we have, yes. and therefore it didn't make any much sense. And I said this on the debate on the bill, but you must also know what others said, <coughs> and this is why I've explained. Yes. Mr. P.C. Alexander, very yes. prominent yes. gentleman in uh, uh, and a great friend of mine. Indra Gandhi yeah. once. Yes. That's right, that's right. And uh, he, oh, he got up and said something very significant and I'll quote it to you. He said, when I entered the civil service way back in 1948, at the beginning of our independence, my worry was whether my tesilda would be corrupt. My sub-inspector would be corrupt. Yes. My bench clerk in my court would be corrupt. I could ever, never imagine <coughs> that my senior officers would be would corrupt. Be corrupt. <coughs> so those days corruption was limited to the lower level. That's right. I could never imagine that when I became a senior officer, I would ever become corrupt. corrupt. Under this bill, and this is what he said, we have given senior officers protection. <laughs> yes. Government sanction is needed before even an inquiries can be started. Yes. <laughs> and Dr. Alexander therefore termed this clause as enemy number one of the bill in yes, yes. on the house. In the house. <laughs> Former Central Vigilance Commissioner Vittal, very famous yes. individual. Yes. Mr. Vittal was well he known. Recently yes, passed yes. away. Yes. Uh, very few. He had already gone on record to say that this provision was vicious. He called it vicious. Vicious. What is most disturbing to me is the <coughs> atmosphere in which we live. What is of regret to me is not that the government pushed through the Central Vigilance Commission bill yes. as it was. Most of the other provisions were unexceptionable. <coughs> Not that the minister didn't accept my proposed amendment. <coughs> but what hurt me more is that the opposition then in the mm. Rajya Sabha, <coughs> it subsequently became part of the government, was that they also approved the bill in its entirety. Yes. <coughs> this is why I said that with adult franchise, and yes. this is the point yes. you made, yes. <coughs> we not only get the government we deserve, we also, also get, get the, the so-called just, justice, justice we that deserve. we deserve, which yes. really means no yes. justice at yes. all. Uh, thank you. And uh, in the next video, the first question we would have about the Offshore Secret Act and other matters. Thank you.